Colin, as a member of the a Museum for New One group, uh, why did you think uh, New One needs and deserves its own museum? Why would you tell people about it? Um, I think, there, as I've already said, there is a big passion for history and heritage, and uh, we've got a lot of good people on board the campaign already. And um, you can sense that people want to know what's going on. Um, and want to know about their history and heritage and we haven't had a museum in the borough since it was shut down quite a few years ago. You are a storyteller, you're a local journalist who has done a lot of research about heritage, history related stories, which is the story that impressed you the most? I think that'd be hard pushed to pick one. Um, <laughs> perhaps two, um, are both connected with this area. Um, Obviously the Blitz, you know, in this area suffered the most of any in London. The second one would be the Silvertown Explosion, which uh, obviously is 100 years ago this year, and uh, although we've done features on it uh, at the paper in the past, uh, researching it as I did this year for the archive, the online archive, um, a lot of stories that I hadn't heard came to the fore, and you know, the, the heroism of local police officers, which they got with the own gallantry medals. Um, and the memories have been passed down the generations and they're still fresh amongst the people who live locally. So I would probably pick those two if I had to split them. Really. stories here to talk about and discuss with Colin that we even lost the daylight but we have an amazing neighbour who is providing us with some lighting so we can play well, this, this interview because yeah. we talk about royal dogs and we talk about Colin um, connection with Sorry. the area and we talked about the fairy festival but last thing I wanted to ask is I'm talking about festivals next thing for the uh, museum for new group is the heritage festival the group is organizing so What's the latest thing about it? What can you tell us? What do you guys have in store for us? It uh, follows on from last year's festival, which was a good success, uh, which we ran in conjunction with the council. And again, it shows the, the passion that people have for the area. Um, I didn't mention earlier, actually, that you know, it's quite unique, particularly on social media, that we have 15 different Facebook subgroups, which I think must be the highest in London. And again, that shows the passion for the area and I did a little quick count you know uh, this morning and just went on each site and probably about five or six different memories have already been posted so that's probably near enough a hundred different memories a day so I think that indicates why the museum has now got a collective of people together ranging and including you know you know history society and east side community heritage and they have the expertise so we're able to stage pop-ups uh, exhibitions um, but, you know, we want the council who indicated last year um, that they are very much in favour of having a museum and obviously if they have the funding and the will to set it up, that's fine. It's not, it's not our intention to take it over. We actually want, you know, to carry on staging things like the festival um, because there is a passion for the history and heritage of the area and it's not obviously only the lovely area that we're in now, the Royal Docks, it's the whole of Newham and you know we have a variety of people with the expertise and the will to help out and volunteer and it was, you know far more knowledgeable than I am you know I mean it's, it, it's it's people who've devoted their lives to these things and yes it's been a big part of my life but um, the group has got a lot of support and hopefully the goodwill for us to all work together and you know bring some good entertainment. Colin, just before we, we say our goodbyes, uh, would you like to remind people the name of the group on Facebook or where can they find more information about the group and about the Heritage Festival? 
Yeah, it's the Museum for Newham Group, which has its own Facebook page, which is open for people to comment and post their own pictures. And all of the details will be publicised there. And hopefully, um, when the whole f festival programme is finalised, then it will be available in a number of different areas. And hopefully, my former paper will help give us some publicity to get people along to the events. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. You. And that's all from us here by the River Thames on the Royal Docks.